singing in the shower, laughing by the hour. I'm uh, Ulf Johansson Verre. I play piano, trombone, sing, do some whistling. I started out as a drummer and then I played a little guitar. But uh, now it's mainly piano and uh, trombone and vocals. And I love doing that. The piano and trombone are far apart. Uh, they satisfy different parts of me and it's wonderful to have one really technical instrument with the whole uh, sort of whole music theory in my hands and the other one trombone is like a prolongation of uh, the vocals anyway uh, what i would like to say is that good jazz music uh, good melodies with good, nice harmonies and a uh, bouncing rhythm that's so important for the human uh, the body, human brain, so important for for health. It provides people with um, uh, skills in socializing. Uh, it opens your your it opens your heart. It opens your brain. And just after 20 minutes of uh, playing or listening to good music, things are starting to change in the brain. So. Uh, you actually activate new centers in the brain that are starting to cooperate and um, uh, also it has connections with both linguistics and um, uh, mathematics, logical thinking. So, my advice to everybody is start playing jazz and you will be a more healthy person. Thank you. So if I would, mm. if you, if there was a piano here, what what song would you play? What what would you think the first? To get attention from uh, the people here, maybe I would play a boogie woogie, and then maybe some kind of uh, 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 ragtime piece, maybe something from James P. Johnson. And so if you would take up your trombone right now, what would you play then? Uh, I'm getting sentimental over here. Yes. Here's a question to you. Okay. Who was your uh, who was your biggest inspiration on uh, trombone? Uh, from beginning, it was Jack T. Garden. I, I, I had the same sty stylistic development as jazz history. I started out listening to um, uh, New Orleans Dixieland music, and I, I have kept all the style in my heart all the time. And then I went further on. So. Uh, J.J. Johnson, and then uh, I must say that uh, Carl Fontana is uh, also a not so well known but wonderful trombone player. I played with, um, uh, with Buddy Tate, I played with Harry Sweets Edison, Kenny Clark. Cl Kenny Clark was uh, a co leader at the University of Pittsburgh where I attended as a, st a scholarship student. And uh, well, he said some very nice things to me that really mattered. He on said that you are the best. <laughs> That's what you say. <laughs> no, no, but on the Newport Jazz Festival, we played together in a quintet session, and uh, he was very nice too. And Buddy Tate was absolute sweetheart. And I must also say, um, Arne Domnerus. I played with him more than 10 years, <coughs> Rune Gustafsson. And one guy that I really loved, and I was supposed to come back to play with him, but then he, he died from cancer. That was Mel Lewis. He was a sweetheart and he had so many nice things to, uh, to tell about music, about life. We spent the night together in his big apartment in Manhattan and that was oh. strong memory, strong memory. Nice. Thank you. Nice. And I played with you, I can't believe it. <laughs> and I played with you.
Thank you so much. <laughs>